Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here in the Cursed Estate preparing for yet another mission. Our ruins has been the one that we've been going to mainly. It's up to level 7 now, so we've been getting it quite high up. But I still think that going to do the Fulminating Prophet is going to be a good idea here. One of the harder bosses, and I think getting it out of the way with as soon as possible is going to be a good idea. Uh, so I'm taking this group we have here. Uh, we've got Ronaldus, or Ronaldus should I say, uh, the Dragon Slayer up in the front with his Leo ring and Dragon Slayer's band. This is going to give him basically 30% extra damage against the boss himself. It is going to be pretty hard for him to hit the boss. Um, I do realise that. But I think we should be okay. I think we should be able to pretty quickly, or at least quick, pretty quickly, I hope, slash through most of the... Um, most of the pews and get to the front. Then we have Matthew here. Uh, he's going to be bleeding on the prophet. He has very low bleed resist, so that should give us a good amount of ch like good chance to take care of that pretty quickly. Uh, he also has a guard along with Ronaldo is having a guard as well. Uh, and we've just given him a lot of prop because he's going to be the main person we're putting guard on. So I think having 40 prop is going to really help. And like I said, we're mainly going to be using him for bleed chance. Then we have Verona here, our snake charmer. Um, she is going to be acting as support as well as applying that blight and bleed uh, because she has both the crushed hemlock and the Elizabeth's head on. So she's going to be bleeding and blighting pretty much everything. Uh, but we're mainly using her for the plus one action and the calming toxins as well as her um repost as well and then we have artemis mainly because she's got that cure blight which is going to pair nicely with calming toxins should we end up getting that blight um then we can uh, remove it pretty quickly uh, i think that should lead to some pretty good stuff and of course on here we just have the extra healing i am a little worried with ronaldus in the fact that he cannot hit the very back line um, there's, there's part of me that does want to maybe swap that around and maybe change that up, but I don't know what would be the best way for us to do, to do that because I don't know. It's, it's a difficult one. I, I've kind of thought about who else we could bring. There is a few other people, uh, but there isn't really too much options. We can maybe take a little look before we jump right in and see if there's anyone else that might be a little better for the task. Um, of course, we could take someone like Ash, but the main reason I want to take Ronaldus is because he's got Repurst and he's got that guard. I think the Repurst is going to be a, quite a big way of getting a lot of damage off, actually. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that sees us through. So let's, uh, Let's just hope that works out. We're going to have to take out the pews pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, we're just going to have to try and get through it as quickly as we can. I think, honestly, these two with their blight and bleed are going to be doing a fine enough job at uh, taking, ever taking everything out anyways. So we should be okay. So let's jump right in here and get some provisions. I'm going to basically just bring the max on pretty much everything here. Um, let's bring five of those, five of those, five of those, four of those, four of those. Max on torches, we can drop a few of those. Um, and yeah, I think that's good. Um, we of course have the dog treats as well. We can maybe use those against the boss itself. Uh, let's jump right in and see how this goes. Um, creature had to be silenced, but doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back? How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? Interesting. Okay, we do have some je uh, d Jenny, Jenny, journal entries, diary entries from TEA uh, today. We have one for Rune Abogatia. What a joyous day! The beast that tore my allies to peace his falls beneath the weight of our. Uh, blows once more. The lumbering monster stopped moving after our assault and a little pig thing scurried away after a few good whacks. We have to leave as the swines began to surround us, but it was a victory to be sure. And we do have another one here. Uh, this is from Will June, our heir. Again, written by T.E.A. More artifacts of my father's old work have been brought back to me to study. Funny, I had spent so much time learning how to do business and failed. Now the occult is my expertise. Additionally, I woke up in a cold sweat for the third time this week, and I hear it. I hear a sort of beating of a heart, deep vibrations going through my body, pulsing in my brain. With each expedition, we excavate more and more dangerous creatures, strengthening the evil in our pursuits. I can only hope it will lead to victory in the end. Very, very good. Love that one. 
regardless. Right. I'm a, like I said, I'm a little worried about this. I think there's there's po possibility bringing Ronaldo was a mistake, but I think Artemis has the healing ca capabilities uh, to be able to fend off. And also, we do have the uh, the self wounds as well. We can we can lick ourselves to with the doggy to help us out. But, yeah, it's been a little while since Matthew's come out. Actually, same with Verona, so hopefully they'll do all right. Of course, immediately taking a bit of damage there. Not great. Finding a map inside there, though, is a huge get for us right now. Um, being able to take the, the safest route to the boss is very important for us here. Boss is most likely going to be this or this room here, I think. Uh, so we'll try it out. Probably this one here. Got our first battle here. A few spearmen in the back. We want to be taking out her. Let's heal up you because you've got a bit of damage on you. Um, and do that. And give you a bark. And do you know what? Just just go full on and finish you off. I didn't actually notice that Verona's attack pushes a forward one. We might need to change her kit around a little bit. Wow. That's a, that's a big crit. Verona's now up front somehow. Uh, didn't really in intend for that, but yeah, that was a, that was a quite a big crit there. <laughs> quite a big crit. So, of course, the bleed damage isn't going to be too consequential against these guys, but that's okay. Uh, get a stun off on you. He's, we're mainly bringing this guy, Matthew, for the end game than anything else. Okay, that, you reorganized us all perfectly there. Yeah, I didn't actually realize that she had this going on here. Maybe I want to switch that up a little bit and change that around. That's not exactly what I was uh, preparing for. Nice, lightning and pales. Lovely there. And we'll keep healing you up, Verona. We don't want anyone too low down. Okay. Um, calming toxins. Let's just put some calming toxins on you. You're going to take the blight, most likely. Nice resist. Did get a hit and probably a stun. Yep, unfortunate. But that's just the way it is sometimes. And we've also got this stun ability as well, which I think is going to be very valuable to us. There you go. Should be able to keep everyone relatively topped up here, I should think. Um, yeah, let's do that. So we've got kind of a movable group here. It wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be quite as movable as it is, but it's turned out that way and I'm, I'm not displeased about it at all. It should work out just fine, actually. Uh, attack you again. Strike you. I'll, I'll change up my movesets a little bit here because I'm playing a little strange right now. And I'd like to stop that. <laughs> the way that we're playing right now isn't exactly what I intended. Um, right. You're blighted as well. Right, okay. Let's just reorganize everyone and look at our moveset. So, f for starters, let's get this going on. Just so we know where our moves lie. Good, good. Uh, and Verona, we need one. We need a, a move to move you back. Um, let's get rid of the extra action for now and go with the... Mamba Dance? Yeah, Mamba Dance is going to be good. Also, we can bypass stealth with that. We're not going to come across too many stealth things here, but that should be nice. Um, and... Hmm. Don't know if there's anything better we want to do here. So, your speed's four, and Verona's speed is five. So, ideally, we probably want those swapped around if Verona's going to be going first a lot of the time. It just depends. If you don't go first, it's not going to be great. Basically, we want to be using the stun early so we'll see how this works it might work out it might not uh we'll just sort of figure it out along the way i'm sure it's not going to be too big of a problem essentially we're just trying to get to the boss as quickly as possible ronaldus has been researching this he knows the way um we're trying to get there as fast as we can uh nice to sam on you and we want to tr try and fight as little as we possibly can on the way nice scouting yet again Good, good. Got a nice clean path here. With scouting as well, we know there's going to be no fighting along the way, which is great for us. Less fighting we can do when going to the bosses, the better. It means we're a bit more prepared. We could also camp, but I kind of... I've got to the point now... Ooh, secret room, that's good. I've got to the point now where I kind of... I've kind of got to the point where I don't even think that camping's that good of an idea on the boss fight ones if you don't have nighttime ambush prevention. Just because you get some benefits, yeah, but you don't need them. Um, and to be honest, I feel like we're in a position where we've got quite strong in terms of our classes, our modded classes. I, I do agree, a few people have mentioned it, that some of the modded classes are particularly overpowered. Um, 
Some of them are very, very, very strong. Uh, so we are a little bit better off than we would normally be. But you've got to think about some other things as well. The fact that we're playing a sort of challenge run where we were essentially trying to get zero deaths or very, very few deaths. And we're also, we're not able to just toss people away when they get too high stress or anything like that. We have to deal with the consequences and pay for their... Uh, for their good health and get rid of um, negative quirks and all this sort of stuff. And I think that balances it out. And also, it's okay if we're having a little bit of an easier time in some of the fights because it means that when we get to the point where we're, where we're really stressed out when someone's near death, it's all the more impactful. Uh, I think it's torches on these, isn't it? I think it's torches on these. Please say it's torches on these. Nope. I do not know what it is on those. It's not torches. <laughs> I'll leave that for now. Okay, we got this guy. Oh, we got a treasurer. Uh, nice. Um, let's just get that on you for now. It means you can't be guarded or anything. Cover me. He's going to the back. We've got this ability to break stealth now as well, which is nice. Oh, that is a big crit. You are so dead, dude. You are so, so dead. <laughs> right, uh, then we'll bypass stealth on you. Get a bit of bleed on you. Um... And we'll try and cut you down. You're size 2, so you're going to take 25% uh, extra damage from the move itself and 25% extra damage from the trinket. There's the treasurer down. Okay, this specific bit of combat right here, it this this really goes to show just how important this um, this setup is. What we've got going on here is, is really quite good. Um, let's get that on you. Blight and bleed. Munch on you, and everything's dead. 30 damage there, that's huge. Just set up that, I guess. We could do Kamen Toxins, but no one's stressed enough for that to be worthwhile yet. Just top people off. There you go. Yeah, that worked out really well. That worked out really, really well. And we got ourselves a few bits and bobs here. So we got ourselves some extra gold and things. Uh, we got ourselves this. Um interesting little trinket for the monk there. Uh, we've got some deeds here. Ideally, we do want to take those. Shall I just throw away my dog treats? Am I going to use the dog treats? That's a question. Um, or shall I throw away something like our medical herbs? Uh, probably throw away the medical herbs. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw away them. They're, they're nice, but we don't need them. Even though we have seven of them. They're not all that useful. Uh, Jade, I'm sorry, but I don't care about you right now. Right, so this should be the boss here. Um, we can camp, so we probably should. Let's do that. Because we have uh, Prevent Nighttime Ambush on us. Um, we don't need to do this. I'm just going to go for the four food. Just so we can do two uh, checks later on. So we'll go with we'll go with this. Uh, well, let's just make sure we don't have a better... I better prevent nighttime ambush. Doesn't look like, look like we do. So we'll go with that. Prevent nighttime ambush. And let's just check the group and see what we've got here. So a lot of a lot of stress reduction. With stock prey, we don't need that. Uh, that's good too, but we don't need it. Uh, one companion. 50% um, chance for plus 20 stress. Um... I think what we do here is we go like this. Give him the extra crit. And then we also do that. The 25% crit for four battles. Nice. Uh, and also, let's go with this because I know that there's Blight coming up in this battle. So it seems like a good idea to do that. Uh, and then lastly, I guess we'll just do this. And everyone's looking good. Okay, so... Um, Ronaldus here should be in a very, very good spot for taking on the boss. Uh, he has... Ludicrous damage now. Ludicrous damage. He has 32 base crit chance. Um, he has lots of extra damage with his repost, and he has a ton of extra damage against size 2, especially if we can destroy those pews early. And the good thing about destroying the pews is they give gold as well, so we can get a nice chunk of change just from getting rid of those pews. So Ronaldus is going to be a big front runner in terms of damage. Everyone else is kind of like just secondary. Uh, you can hit backline with Mamba Dance as well, can't you? So that's going to be very useful. Very useful indeed. Okay, here's the Prophet. So, unfortunately, 
<laughs> he's put that on literally the worst place possible. Let's get that there. That swaps you two around. And let's guard you. Okay. Good, good, good. Um... This is going to add crits received and everything, so I'm going to do that to you. Um, and, yeah, let's stack that bleed. Okay, nice dodge. Rubble of Ruin. Did hurt us, but we should be okay. Um, hmm. Wondering what's the best course of action here. I think we go with this. Set up that prop. That's going to help. And then we heal up you because you're about to get hit. In fact, let's heal you again. Just to make sure you can take on that damage. And... Hmm. You don't want you, we don't want you going back one yet, do we? So how much damage do these pews have? They can't be blighted or anything, of course. Um... Let's add this here. It's because it's going to buff her prot on everything, so... 22 prot from position 3, and she is, so that's good. Okay, not, not too much damage there. This is going to be fine. She should be able to take the damage without us worrying. Uh, let's try attacking the pews now. Um, and... Hmm. So the problem is we don't want to we don't want to move anyone here. Everyone's in good positions. But then again, I do want to use this. But we're just going to have to set off the repost again. Which is going to buff our prot, actually. So that works. Uh, let's buff you up a bit. You've got the ability to heal yourself. I'm going to stack the, the bleed on you instead. I'd prefer to do that right now. Eye on you. Bit of stress. It's not going to hurt us too much, though. Rubble of Ruin. Yeah, there you go. Six damage. And we get that repost. Okay. This is actually great. She, You're doing it on the, the, the perfect target. If we just keep stacking our repost here. I didn't think about how strong this would be. But 66 prot. That's that's insane. You're just getting destroyed. And there's one pew gone. This gets him a little closer. Ronaldo's I didn't even think about the fact that he was Like, I did think about it. But I didn't really sort of internalize how long it was going to take him to be able to hit the boss. I don't really mind, to be fair. It's working out fine. And he is almost dead. Um, we could try and keep him alive to, to prolong the fight and destroy the pews. But we don't need to do that. Um, right. So, let's try and take these out. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Wonder what's the best course of action here. I think we just buff our prot still. We keep doing this. Nice. 11 heal is huge here. This hasn't really worked out the way I wanted it to, to be honest, but it's worked out nonetheless. I wasn't expecting this to go quite as well as it did. Um, Rubble of Ruin's going to hurt. Nice dodge and a miss. You're probably going to die to Blight and Bleed pretty soon, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I think we can go with that. That's not good. <laughs> um, we're in a bad spot here. You're going to get hit pretty hard. In fact... Hmm... I just want to say that might death's door you. It didn't, luckily. Okay, we're, we're in a spot where we kind of have to kill him here. Um, I wasn't wanting to, but we kind of have to. Um, let's just do this. It's, this might hurt us a lot. Luckily, that got that 11 heal there. Um, we should be fine. Do that. How much damage can we deal to these? Okay, there's no way we're dealing 40 damage. Let's just go for the kill. Okay, he's dead. I was really hoping we could kill a few of the pews there, and Ronaldus would be a little more influential. But honestly, like I said, we brought him for his guard, and his guard is what we used. So I'm happy with it nonetheless. Uh, let's get rid of the dog... I forgot to use the dog treats again. Uh, let's get rid of the dog treats. Let's get rid of um, the holy water. No. Um, let's get rid of them. I think we already have one of those, so I don't mind. Um, cool. Continue adventuring. I want to food you up a little bit, but at the same time, I don't. 
Right, let's carry on back to the secret room. We don't have to go through any combat to get to the secret room as well, which is really nice. Just be careful for things like traps and stuff. Okay, there is a bit of combat here. Now, Artemis could be in a sticky situation here. I'm going to top her up with just two food, just in case that... Yeah. <laughs> of course, we get a food check. Imagine if I didn't have enough then because of that. We did get a surprise here, which is really, really nice. Um, I think we just go for a kill. Can we, we can't even get a kill unless we get a crit, which we did. We've, got, we've still got 25 crit for three battles here, so that's going to be amazing. Uh, we'll heal ourselves up here. Only seven healing, but it's enough. Um, and... I think we just go with calming toxins here and remove as much stress as we can. Okay, you're... You resisted the bleed. Oh, of course you did. You're the skeleton. Okay, that was... A, that was... Slightly more damage than I was expecting. This didn't go great. Um, please be okay, Rinaldus. Please be okay. Nice crit. I I am in a sticky situation here. If this guy hits Rinaldus, we're going to be on death's door. Damn. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, you're dead. Please don't hit Rinaldus. He is a poor boy. Leave him be. You need to heal for more, my lovely. You're resisting that blight like a damn god, and it's beautiful. Okay, I get that on you again. Wow, he's resisted every single one. That's that's just amazing. Right, we're going to try and stall this battle a little bit to remove as much stress as we can. Nice dodge, that's even better. Um, oh, ho, 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 ho. Even more stress reduction there. Okay, we can't... Oh, no, we can do this. We can do this. Uh, heal ourselves up here. Garden ally, yeah, I'll guard you, whatever. Nice. Okay, he finally got the blight on him. And he gets hit as well. That's not a problem, though. Here's the reinforcements. We really were hoping that wouldn't happen. I was one round off of quitting this. And we'll probably end up taking the stress back that we just removed, but whatever. Um... No, we won't do that this round. We'll instead go with this, which is probably going to hurt you quite bad. Yep. Um, you can remove... Oh, we got rid of our anti-venom. I'm a dumb. Right, let's do that. Stress, nice. Dodge on the stress. Okay. This is a longer fight than I was expecting here, but it's going okay. It's going okay. Just don't take too much stress. Nice dodge yet again. I think this um, 17 dodge is helping out quite a lot. Right, you're you're gonna take 11, no, nine damage. So we can we can kill you now. As much as I'd want to, we have to kill you now. Right, uh, cured that off of you. Let's get in there and try and kill you. Luckily, you're a human, so you can take some you can take some beatings. Okay, stress levels are now looking a lot better. The push doesn't do anything to us, really, apart from a tiny amount of stress. Take out a body. We're using our crit mainly to just destroy bodies at this point. Heal you back up to near full, and you are dead. Good. Okay, that worked all right. That worked all right. Uh, emeralds. Yeah, we'll take the emeralds over the holy water for now. The other stuff I can, I can deal without. Right, keep going. So we do have one battle along the way here. Leave the bookcases. They're rude. They're horrible. Like they're gross. I don't like them. Okay, so we've got this one battle up here. Uh, let's let's just reorganize our, our troop. You two can go like that. Okay, we're prepared enough for this, so let's just go for it. Oh, we do have some bloodsuckers here. There's a chance that we get the, uh, the curse. Hopefully not, but there's a chance. We'll just go straight for the kills. Okay, you resisted both of those. That's a bit rude. That's a bit rude, my laddie. Nice crit. Okay, they're going to start attacking now. Yep. Okay, everyone's okay. Maddening wine. Maddening wine. Nice dodges, people. Nice dodges. The first coming in on Ronaldus. He's in armor. He's going to resist the curse. Verona's getting it. Oop, there's a big crit heal. You should be pretty much dead. Uh, 
Let's finish you off. Make sure you go down. And finish you. Nice hit. And there's just one left now. A thirst. They want Ronaldo to take it, but he's not. He ain't taking that curse. Nice bite. So yeah, uh, one thing I said I was going to do recently is I said I was probably going to take off the um, the mod that reduces the chance for the curse. I'm going to wait until we have the uh, the building built, the one that gives you two blood per week. Once we've got that built, I will uninstall the mod that reduces the chance for the curse. I owe it to you guys, especially DB fan who bought me the DLC. Big thank you to DB fan. As always. Right. Here we are at our secret room. Please give us a head. A head would be fantastic. Okay, that's that's good, but it's not a head. Right, grab that, and there you go. Pretty good quest. That went all right. Uh, there was a few a few moments there that were a little bit uh, on edge, but for the most part, that went pretty well, and everyone got up to level four as well. What do we get on everyone? A lot of people got some diseases, so whooping cough. We need to get rid of that. Um, shrieking sickness... Also bad. Spotted fever. Also bad. Um, definitely want to get rid of the whooping cough and stuff first. Right, let's have a little look-see. Six more recruits than usual. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go and do our stuff first. So, remove all the trinkets. And get you in here. Get rid of that whooping cough. Get you in here and get rid of that sickness. Let's check our recruits, who we got. Ooh, um, this is pretty good. Willow has leveled himself up already. Very nice. Uh, so Willow just joined us recently again, back from the dead, but he is back once more. Um, Willow. There you go, Willow's back at level four. Uh, and then we've got Dai. He's here as well. Dai has leveled up himself too. That's very nice. Um, and then we have a keeper as well. So Mary has also leveled up. Nice one, Mary. Right. Cool. That was a good amount of levels up there. I was very happy with that. Um, we, we still don't have a Mender yet um, at a good level. I really want a Mender. Menders look pretty interesting. They're a pretty good healer, especially these two here. So I really want one of those as soon as possible. Pretty new class, actually. Uh, we've got a few new classes that I brought on. Let's have a little look at the shops who we want to buy. Um, no, nah, that's not really relevant. Doesn't look like there's too much here we want. Let's check the um, the shop here. See if there's anything we really want here. But one, I still think that's probably a good purchase, and I'm very tempted to get that. Um, have a look. Plus 25% damage melee skills. Bounty hunter. Cultist. Arbalist. Tier. Cultist. So... Okay, so there's one for ranged and one for melee. That's kind of interesting. We have a nice Helion one here. Extra damage and crit. 10% uh, damage if the attack's below 50% HP. Bits of extra stress. We could take the the um, Brass Bugle, which is going to give us a massive 50% reduction in stress, uh, which I'm very tempted to get. That's kind of interesting. Gauntlet of Absolution. Okay, so wait a minute. That, that's very interesting. So let's find our Flagellant. Let's find Jonathan Baker. Where are you, Jonathan? So Jonathan Baker, he has this skill here um, where he can reduce someone's stress by 12, but it stresses him out by 8. Uh, but then with this, wherever it's gone, um, he does more healing, which is really nice. But also, he will, um, he will be... A really, really good stress healer because he can take on stress and whenever he gets hit, it removes the stress from him. So if we could mark him, does he have anything that self-marks? I don't think he does. Uh, oh no, he does. Self-mark target. Okay. 
Interesting. Suffer. Hmm. So that's... That's very interesting. We could make him into a very effective stress healer. And then paired with this, that would make him insane. That would make him really, really, really good. Uh, let's check what else we've got here. Flat 20% stress with minus 10... 20% um, uh, proc with minus 10 stress. Extra damage and stun chance. Extra dodge and accuracy. Scarecrow, Helion. So I'm, I'm tied between these two. This one's more general, so I'm going to buy this. Minus 50 stress is insanely powerful. So we'll buy that and see how that goes. Um, what the hell is this? Wow. Interesting. So we do need to go and do the Baron at some point and uh, do this Winemaker's Reserve as well. Let's see what else do we want to do this mission, though. What else do we want to try and get? So the wield at the minute is kind of closed off. It's all master level stuff, level 4. We can Obviously, we can do level 4 stuff, but I'm trying to do all the level 3 stuff first. We could go for... Um, we could go for the Unstable Flesh here. The only thing is, we'd be getting some Sacred Scrolls, which... Which, by all means, are brilliant, but we already have some. Probably not the best thing to go for right now. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. We could try and do an endless endgame condition. Sanguine Reflection. Sanguine Reflection. Monsters get... Whoa. What does that mean? Monsters get plus eight crit and speed. What does that mean by end game condition? I'm not really sure what that means. Um, let's throw these guys out. We could try and do this if we wanted to. I don't. I don't exactly know how how this works. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, we could we could try and figure it out though. So essentially, from what I know, we can take out whoever we want, and you can leave whenever you want. You you can just like back out whenever. Uh, but. You can take in these guys here, but they all have this where they'll take 10% loot. So if you take four of these guys, you'll lose 40% of the loot, which is fine. And I think we should probably do that as a, as a starting out. So let's go... Um, I'm beyond this. Uh, whoopsie. Um, so put you there. Let's, let's try this out. So we've got you there. So we've got our Vestal at the back here. We've got um, our Assassin at the front. We've got Henry here, and then we've got a few different options here. We can go with our Man at Arms, because uh, of that crazy repose damage and everything that he has. Wait, does he not have... Oh, Chad Mastery, there it is. Um, hmm. So, there's a few different options we could go for here. We could go for um, our Abomination, which would have insane stun chance and be able to stun the hell out of everything. Or we could go with this, who will have really good repost and the ability to guard. I think that could be pretty strong. Um, yeah, let's bring you. Uh, and then we're going to go with... Let's go with these. So, you can do Retribution to activate repost. You can guard an ally. Um, you can buff damage. And you can buff dodge while reducing stress. Uh, then here we have, obviously, big heals... We don't have any specific stress relievers here, but I think that should be okay. Uh, let's see what everyone has. Uh, always pushing the way to the front, that's fine. Um, random target, that's also fine. That's fine. Okay, that's fine as well. Okay, so now the question is... How do I trinket these guys? Let me go and do a little bit of research and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm fairly sure I get how Endless works. Now, I've set these guys up with trinkets. I have taken some of my better trinkets in with me. So, basically, I've, I've been told that as long as one person escapes alive, then I can get... I can take all my trinkets with me. Um, so I'm going to basically play this as safe as I possibly can. As soon as things start to go south, I'm going to dip. I'm going to try to make sure no one dies, but let's go in and begin the harvest and see exactly how this works. It's just defeat as many enemies as possible, so let's give it a go. I don't know what we need, so let's just take everything. I, I don't know if any of these actually are necessary. I really don't. 
uh, but let's just go ahead and go for it. Essentially, my team is Assassin here with the um, ability to Blight and Bleed. Uh, we've got um, our Barbarian with high crit chance, as well as being buffed crit here and buffed crit here. Uh, we've got the uh, Man at Arms with his Repost. And with the um, Temperance Major Arcana, because that's going to mean that he can set up his... Um you can set up things like guard and stuff on the first round or uh, command and then after he can start doing repost and then Vestal with just her best healing skills. So let's try this out and see how this goes. I am ill prepared for this so let's hope this goes okay. Let's embark and see what happens. The poor Miller. Right, the victim. The seasons took his livelihood. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the comet has taken his humanity. My only regret is that I did not live to see that shoddy mill smashed to pieces by the miraculous bounty I reaped from beyond the void. God damn. We do have some more die rangers here. One from uh, T again for Renault Acrosada. What a damn fool that old city guard decided to spend. Uh, decided he'd spend the rest of his time going hunting those monsters on his own while we were sleeping. Well, he led them right to us. Fighting in the dark is not my forte. He even kept all the treasure he had gathered for himself and demanded more payment for going the extra mile, not realizing the peril he had put us in. Interesting. Right, let's go in. Let's try this out. I'm ill-prepared, but let's go for it. Let's see how this works. Cool. Right, so we should be able to kill things relatively easily. I think these guys will kind of do a great job of that, to be honest. Uh, let's just go for a stun straight off the bat. And get that going. Torchlight doesn't matter. This is going to buff our crit chance, dodge, all that sort of stuff. The dodge is probably the biggest thing for us here. And, of course, you dodge that immediately. Um, let's go with command here. Buff up everyone's crit. And there you go, there's a there's a hit straight off the bat. Trample, that's going to hurt, and mixes all around. We don't have too many movement skills, actually, so that could be quite bad. Um, do you know what? Let's just do that again. We're going to have to move people back. Right, you're going back. 11. Of course, when this guy crits, he's going to deal huge damage, but if he doesn't, he's going to deal pretty low damage, honestly. But we'll see how this goes as, as we go along here. Um, I don't, I don't like the position we got ourselves into here, honestly. Oh, this is bad. Um, just keep doing this. It'll work. Can you move back over there? You move forward here. Okay, we've reorganized at least somewhat. The, the, the stress is probably going to be the worst part for us here. We've, we've, basically brought nothing to deal with stress in the slightest uh, which is pretty bad <laughs> I probably should have thought of that there's a 52 crit huge uh, we need to get rid of this before it explodes okay they already did it <laughs> whoops giving us all horror another horse um move you forward yeah trample's gonna be a big problem for us especially when these guys are stealth we can't really do anything here Wolf ourselves over even more yeah this is Okay, gonna gonna say something here. I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I jumped into this completely forgetting that Trample existed. Because now we can't do anything, because we keep getting trampled. And we're all stressed out to shit. Go away, horses. Bloody hell, horses, go away. Look at this. The tra I forgot how devastating Trample was. I'm not going to lie. Trample's awful. I don't like it. We're all stressed out. Right, you die. Move forward. Okay. Right. We're in a bit of a bet position now. You can die straight away without doing any rep any repost on us. Don't, don't fancy that, to be honest. Um, let's lower everyone's stress. Okay, we got a hit there. Keep going for the party heals. This will heal us up more than enough. Right, this guy doing paw the ground is annoying the hell out of me. The absolute hell out of me. We've got to keep going. 
Um, yeah, let's just keep on with this. We don't really need to guard anyone yet. I know we get the extra damage. Stop it with a trample. Oh my god, it's so annoying. So annoying. It just... Why do you keep pushing my Vestal all the way to the front every time? It's the most infuriating thing. Leave Vestal where she is. Also, I need to be able to activate my repost. It's very, very annoying. That didn't kill. That's a shame. Flail the crops. That hurts, but it's okay. Got a big heal there. Right, you go, horsey. Okay, not enough damage to kill it. Oh my god, I completely forgot about the damn horses, people. I forgot about the damn horses. BC will scream. The stress is coming in hot and heavy. Hot and heavy. Okay, again, let's go with a party heal, I think, here. Yeah, party heal's best. Everyone needs it, right. Get rid of both of those on you, because I don't want you to take any more damage. Right, you need to go before you trample anyone. Oh, that, that can spawn two Seeds of Madness. I didn't know that. You can go. Oh, boy. That's not going to kill a Seeds of Madness. It just activates Repost, though. Okay, he activates that on himself. That's fine, to be honest. And another party heal coming in. What's he doing? There's that. But the repose killed it, I think. No! The dodge! Why would the dodge? Beyond time and space. Okay. Rotten fair. Let's uh, let's find out what this does, shall we? Um we are in the farmstead. Darkest dungeon. Farmstead. What was that called again? I can't even remember what it was now. Uh, I'll just look for it on the pictures. Rotten fed. Uh, stress heal 100. I don't think I need to do anything. Um, I just take it on whoever I want to. I'm going to take it on you. Yep, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Right. Let's just go for the kills. I really need to buff you up before I do that, don't I? Okay. Okay. You can take the full heal there. We need it. Oh, this is interesting. I'm liking it, but I'm also hating it because I don't know what I'm doing. As long as we don't get too many horses, I'll be okay. That was pretty good. I like that. I should use that more often. Okay. Dodged. It does activate repose nonetheless, though. You definitely need some healing. 15. That's huge. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to buff you up now. Your stress is getting a little out of hand. Everyone gets accuracy and crit. Ow. Of course you crit me straight away. Okay, yeah, that's the move we want. That's the move we want. Let me heal you up. Go away, horsey. No, horsey. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> God damn, that stress is getting out of hand. Um, you can't even bolster either. Damn. Um, let's guard you for a bit. Ow. Before that body becomes anything. No, just do eight damage, why don't you? Just eight damage out of the possible 37. Do eight. Good. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Right there. My god, I'm so afraid already. Stop stressing people out, you witch. <laughs> She's got a negative quirk that keeps stressing everyone out. It's very annoying. Nice. Bit of healing there. Okay, a few more coming in. It's okay. Nice crit. Bit of stress healing. Yeah, stress is definitely going to be the thing that, that does us here. Ow. 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 Finish you off. Nice crit. Give them no quarter. I didn't take anything that can see through um, see through stealth either, or de-stealth. It's kind of annoying. That can do it, though. Right, we need to do party healing here. Everyone needs it. Of course you crit on the person that doesn't need it and do the lowest healing on the person that does. Of course. Why not? Get you gone. 
That stress is rising. It's rising. Oh my god. This is already very scary. I can see why this is so fun though. I can see why people play this a lot. I like it. Let's get rid of that. Nice. Okay, that attack is definitely the way to go. Thunder does a lot. Nice dodge. Okay, we've got our horsey back again. For the ground. You're invisible once more. Got one more round left to let's reactivate it. Nice hit. Okay, let's do that. Keep getting the lowest heal on the Barbarian, the guy that needs it most. Very upsetting. Okay, damn. Barbarian is absolutely killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. Trample. There it is. The Vestal at the front. Again. Why? <laughs> Stop with the Vestal at the front. It's so annoying. I can't do anything against it. Another horsey. Oh, what the fuck do I even do against this? Goddamn tramples the worst thing that ever, that's ever existed. Right, I've got, I've got to buff you. I've got to push Barbarian to the front. It's waste his time. Nah, he's got the crit heal on the guy that needed it this time. Thank you. The thing is, that I, I'm going to spend all this time reorganizing just to get trampled again. And now they're both invisible. So I can't do anything on most people. Okay, we're in an okay position now. Oh, another big crit. Awesome. My god, that's at least better than last time. Fucking hell. Um. Nah, let's switch. I was going to use that, but let's just switch them around. Oh my fucking god, I'm getting so sick of this. So sick of this. Leave me alone. Stop trampling me. I just... I just want to have fun. <laughs> I just don't want to get trampled, please. Right, you're gone too. Okay, that didn't kill that, sadly. I was really hoping it would. 22 damage. What the fuck? I didn't know that could happen. My god. Okay, we got this now. Let's have a look. This is the Fresh Harvest, I think. Or is it Plentiful Bounty? Heal 65% or heal 90%. Okay, you definitely need that more than anything. Okay, good. That healed pretty much everyone. Stress is just out of this world right now, so that's unfortunate. Let's top you up with that, I guess. Um, reward small. So I'm guessing I haven't got a reward yet because I'm still here. I, I don't know. We'll find out. The light bends. Splendorous. Some regular old enemies. Okay. And come on. Yes! Vigorous. Yes. Nice. Okay, that didn't do much damage, but that's okay. Ow. Leave my Vestal alone. What's your stun chance? 50. That's... Yeah, we can do this. Nice. Get a nice little stun on you. Ow. Okay, armor piercing. That's going to hurt. Crushing blow, that's gonna hurt. Okay, if Stella activated the repose, that's fine. Please crit. You've got so much crit chance. Please crit. Very annoying when you don't crit. Nice, you're back up. Oh, we're taking some damage here, but it's okay. Ground pound, that's gonna hurt, but that's alright. You're down with a 52 crit. Could you not have done that from the start? Could you really not have done that from the start? 30 crit, there you go. Here's, here comes the crits. They're inbound. Exactly what we need. 
Please leave him alone with all the stress. Right, we need a party heal here. Wow, this is stressful, but I love it. Okay, more of them. We've got some stress dealers as well. It's even more annoying. Can't do anything here, so... I guess we just go for you and hope for the crits. We did get a crit. Okay, we're going to take some stress here. I think we're going to end up getting a stress check here because both of them are going to go for you. Didn't actually get the stress check that I was thinking we were going to get, but... All right. Right. Let's go for that. Oh, crushing blow. That always hurts. Eight. You... Mmm. Mmm. Eight and nine. You guys can hit for like 40. Why would you hit for eight and then nine? Could you just not? Really not the time to be hitting for eight and nine people. Right, you all got a stress check. Come on. Oh, he didn't. I don't know why, but he didn't. Ooh, that's a big crit. And then the 52. And then the 52 again. Right, we're going to get another stress goblet coming in here. Oh, maybe not. Take you out. And I think we go for this. Big heals. And there you go. Nice heals from that as well. Okay, we got our first small reward. Oh, no, we got some gargoyles. Still don't know what these gargoyles do. They're incredibly weak in terms of their maximum HP, which scares me a lot. You've got that for two rounds. Let's guard you. Ow. There's the stress check. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, paranoid. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Lash of the tail. Trying to move me, but it's not working. Just go for the party heal. Of course you resisted. That's where we start having problems. Nice hit. Okay, gargoyles within reach now. Let's activate our repost here. 15, that's not bad. And we've got the blight and bleed on you too. That's great. Ow, that hurt. Definitely hurt. Howl, more stress coming in. That's horror, actually. We can get rid of horror, though. Oh, no, we can't. We didn't bring any loud in them. Great. Great. I thought we did. Why do you refuse healing, you mug? So annoying. Okay. Hit you. Got some more coming in. I'm going to take you out. You're more, you're more pressing right now. Nice crit. A little bit of stress heal. You're on 110. You're going to die. Yeah, you finally want healing, don't you? Lash of the tail. Missed that. Nice one. Bayonet jab. Missed that one as well. Great. Unfortunately... We ain't getting anything here. Uh, let's just do this. Of course it missed the two targets at the back. Of course it did. Wow. Oh, my God. Sometimes. This heckin' game. Sometimes. That's fine. We're resisting the move. Try and take this out. We don't do enough damage to take that out. I keep forgetting. Shouldn't even bother. But that'll do it. That'll do it just nice, just fine. And there's not going to be more enemies, is there? Beyond time and space, nice one. 20 shards, and we got this bloody thing. What the hell, whatever the hell this is. It's a woman holding a basket. Um, trinket, and... Okay, so we just get a trinket from her. I don't think we need to give her anything either. No, we don't. Um, Miller the Reaping, 40%. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Onwards, we continue. So, can we... Flee with Mega Spoils. Can we just, like, flee whenever we want now? I'm guessing we can, right? Damn it. I was really hoping that I'd just kill him with a crit, but obviously not. Heal everyone up. Nice. Big hit there. Ooh, I didn't realize he could heal himself. Interesting. Nice dodge. Next bit reposed here. Reposed is very strong on this guy, so I'm liking it. Okay, a little sprinkle on us there. That's all right. 
I'm gonna buff this up, get this going. 44 crit, love it. Buff that up to um, 45 crit, even better. Stun you out. Oh, that did not stun you. Great. Whoa, that's the first big hit we've had in our Vestal. I mean, it's good that's only the first one. But holy hell. That was a big one. Nice. Sunder doing great work here. Stare the rabble. Giving you a repost. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Finish you off with that mark as well. Oh, goddamn. 52 crit. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Let's guard you. Ow. With me, boy. Okay, nice dodge. Sunder again coming in. Instant kill on that guy. And we need a heal here. We need to heal ourselves up. Good, good. Vestal's looking a little, better, a little bit better. Nice crit on you. Okay, get that going. Can we stun him? Let's see. Nope, we cannot. <laughs> that is a well and truly big no. Nice hit. Who we got next? Horsey boy? Nope, no horsey. No horsey yet. I mean, stress... As soon as stress gets high enough on this guy, that's when we're dipping. No matter how much spoils we have, that's when we're dipping. As soon as stress gets too high. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's... that. You've got a few rounds left on that, haven't you? Let's do this. Get the bolster going. Ow. Yeah, your stress is getting way too high now. Way, way too high. We can't do anything about it, really. Maybe if we make it to the next rest stop, we'll get something to get rid of it all. Damn it, only killed one of them there. Vestal, we need you. We need you big time. That party heal is huge. See the madness here coming in. Finish you off. Oh, I didn't finish you. Sunder will finish both of these, though, so that's all right. Definitely will now. Pause from labor for a bit of healing. That's okay. We can deal with the heals. We can deal with the heal. It's 147 stress that I'm worried about. And there you go. Both of those are dead. Keeps your stress low and keeps you healed up. Got beyond time and space already. Fireplace. This is... Um, camp? This is camp, I think. Can we get nighttime ambush on this? I don't know. I don't know. Great. Okay, what have we got here? Um, extra damage. Minus stress. Extra damage and minus stress. Okay, um... Let's do this on you. Actually, first of all, let's go like that, like that, like that. Get your stress down as much as we can. <laughs> Just get that down as far as we possibly can. Then let's go like that on you. Let's just pep talk the hell out of this guy. <laughs> there we go. Pep talk the hell out of him. Okay, no nighttime ambush here. Right, we're getting, like, really close to the end of the episode now, so... I don't want to carry this on for too much longer, but I want to see if we can get through this. Whoa, what the hell's this enemy? I've never seen this before. Okay, some new stuff going on here. Right, let's get your buffs going. Start you off on that. Uh, what's, what's our stun resists here? We'll just go for a stun on one of you guys then, I guess. Can't get hit the back two, that's fine. Okay, we got a Hex on us for less dodge, less accuracy. And we got Blight on us. Sunder should still hit fine. It did very, very low damage, though. These guys have that prot, don't they, so... That's certainly not good. Um, just activate this. Hmm. Don't know how to feel about this. We're not dealing enough damage, really, to these guys. It's going to take us a while to get through them. This crew maybe isn't the best for this job, but we'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. And it seems it's going it's going fair. Fair enough. Okay, heal everyone up. Everyone needs it. And focus on the Barbarian. Because he's getting hit a lot. And blighted a lot. Okay, almost got the Corone there. 
Best thing about the Sunder is it just mixes everyone about. Get that crone gone, because she's going to be dealing stress. I think. Um, don't stress everyone out, dude. Come on now. Be fair. Oh, please leave him alone. We need a big, big, big crit heal on our barbarian here. Big crit heal. Oh, fi why always the 52 crits when they don't actually matter? Why? That's a, that's a crit that matters. Wow, that's a crit that matters. Okay, I, I, can, I can get behind that. Critting for 14, why don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Okay, we're going to have to go for the party-wide heal again, though. Got both dead. Nope, you did three damage to this guy. Three damage. Oh, and we got one of these dudes. This is bad. Crit hitting for 43, though. That's a good start. It's a good start. I'll tell you that. <sighs> Come on. Stop stressing people out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is really stressful. Really stressful. Leave my barbarian alone. He's he's so hurt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 45. Okay, that was big that was big enough. That was annoying. Not as annoying as it could have been, but it was annoying. Okay, that was good. I don't know why you pushed yourself back then, but I liked it. Activate Reposed here. How are you not dead yet, dude? That was bad. Hmm. We all need healing, but you need it way more. 14 on you. Everyone's stress is a bit too high now as well. Bit too high. You're gone. Good. This. Look at this dude. Got like the littlest amount of health ever. That breath. Oh my god. It stings. No, and you dodged that. You, you shitbag. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How are they all so close to death? Just let them die. Oh my god, just let them die. That's a bad idea, that was. Stop doing what you want as well. Oh, you're gonna... Mm, thank you. Thank you for the dodge and the kill, at least. At least thank you for that. Okay, we got to go for the party heals. We need it for everyone. Right, we're reorganized. Ow. Okay, there's more still. Buff you up. Buff everyone up. Okay, why, why protect the barbarian? It's terrible. Everyone's got horror. This is like the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. My god. Insane. 35, that's not bad. That's not bad. I can't believe this dude's still alive. He's been alive for so long. I mean, I'm gonna leave him because he's not that big of a threat. You're dead. Right. Hit him for that. Hit him for one. Your stress is way too high, dude. Way too high. Resolve is tested. Selfish. God damn it. Mmm. Stop refusing healing, dude. You're gonna get yourself killed. You're both dead. Good. And we're gonna get the uh, the teleport in just a moment here. Oh my god. We could try to carry on here. But it just ain't worth it, is it? It just ain't worth it. 18 heal on that. Wow. Right. Let's see what we get. This is where we're leaving it, though. Can we remember what that was? The fruit in the basket? Because I can't. That is... Big heals for everyone. Big heals, but... <sighs> can we even... Can we do this? It's getting it's getting a little... It's getting on a bit, really, the, the episode, but I think we can go for it. Let's just try it. It's the Miller! Oh, shit. <laughs> right, um... 
On her turn, can I switch over trinkets? Fuck! That's really bad. I didn't realize it'd be the miller. Otherwise, I would have changed my trinkets. Okay. Can I just dip out whenever? I'm guessing so. What's your stun resist? Your stun resist isn't terrible. Let's stun you. Oh, this is this this could be great or terrible. Who knows? Ooh, interesting. He can disable some skills. That's kind of cool. Nice. Good damage. You're dead. Kind of cool, this garden skills disabled thing. Okay, you guarded the wrong person there, but I suppose he's not stressed out yet, so that kind of helps, but that's bad, because if he gets stress on him, uh, it's just, I don't know. Not great. Not great. Oh, the master beckons. That's the one we need. We need him to be fucking closer to us. Uh, can you be stunned? No, you cannot. Technically, I could stun you. Let's try it. He resisted. Should have just gone for the heal. Reality bend. It's you I'm worried about, dude. You dodged that? Are you kidding me? He's just going to keep summoning things so I'm not going to be able to attack him. What? When do I get to use my assassin? <laughs> I haven't used my assassin in so long. Now? 10 damage? That's pitiful. Come on. Pitiful. I did not know I'd be fighting this guy. God damn it. I did not know I'd be fighting this guy. Oh! 50 damage! And 62 damage! That was incredible! The harvest. He's so... Oh no, he's so gonna die. Right. Let's get uh, a group heal going. You refuse it again. Stop refusing the heals, please. Big crits. No. Six damage. What? Hmm. My god. 29's enough. The reaping. That's going to hurt. Yep. I thought so. 169 stress. Okay. You didn't refuse healing this time. That's great. The reaping again. Okay. Okay. He's actually pretty low. 10 damage, not enough. We did get the blight on him, though. That's good. Do not miss, Barbarian. Don't you dare miss next time you get to hit him. Don't you dare miss. Okay, group heal. Reaping again. It's fine. Yes! 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 Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god! Retreat with a decent haul! Yes! Oh, I didn't use whatever the bloody thing was. It's okay, it's okay. I don't care. Oh my god, yes! Oh boy! That was amazing! That felt so good! Right, um... What did I miss out on? Let me just check and make sure I didn't make a real big oopsie there. Uh, I missed out on stress heal. I missed out on a stress heal. Okay, that's fine. I I'm not too bothered about that. Um, yeah. I cannot believe that we just did that. I cannot believe we just did that. So we just, we're up to 69 shards. Boy, 69 shards. That's how it be. So now we can go and take a look at some of the more expensive items. All the way down to like here. Right. People, give me some suggestions on what sort of uh, what sort of things I might want to be using here. Because there's a lot of good stuff. Right, I'll just do a scroll through everything we can afford. And you guys can give me some advice. So this one. This one. Just pause to take a look at what each of them do. Make sure to give it, um, advice for modded classes as well as vanilla. I know a few of you only really know the vanilla classes, but still. There's still some really good ones for modded classes here too. And obviously there's some ones that affect every class that might be really good too. Okay, right, I'm going to end the episode off there just after I read this diary entry again from TEA for William, our privateer, after finding the pet trinket, um, which is this little dude, wherever he is. Um, where's our pet trinket? There he is, this later hatchling. Um, what a sweet thing, what a sweet thing. I'll be keeping this crit in my care from here on out, the least I can do after ending its mother's life. Uh, and then another diary entry after defeating the crew. I can hear the waters drawing closer. My old friends and their laboured breaths. Their gurgling cries. The captain shouted at me. Mutiny. Mutiny, he called. Scolding me from abandoning the ship and not dying there with them. 
all those years ago. Oof, chills, chills. But yes, a brilliant episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was really fun. And I, although we we were almost took some, some some casualties there, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that a lot. There's going to be a lot more of going into those. And these guys are uh, shard mercenaries. These are people that are essentially passers by. They're just going to be arriving and leaving, so we can get rid of these guys whenever they want. They're not going to have backstories, really. They're not going to have names. We're just going to use them as and when they come. We can switch them out with any new people that arrive like this. Um, one thing that um, Cell suggested as part of the story, which I really like, is our um, succubus, um, Chasey, wherever she is, uh, is actually going to be sucking the life essence out of a few of these people, and they're going to mysteriously disappear. Who knows why or when? Chasey here. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Loved that. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.